Let G be a connected regular graph that is not Eulerian, so every vertex of G has the same degree and G does not contain an Eulerian circuit. Then, if G complement is connected, then G complement is Eulerian. We'll be proving this result in today's Wrath of Math lesson, and we'll be using the wonderful theorem that a connected graph is Eulerian if and only if all of its vertices have even degrees. I'll leave a link in the description to a recent lesson I did proving that theorem, so if you're not familiar with the proof, go check it out. Otherwise, applying a theorem if you don't know the proof is just like casting a magic spell, and this is not Hogwarts. This is Wrath of Math. But assuming you know the theorem and the proof, let's get into this proof. We are of course assuming that G is a connected regular graph that is not Eulerian. Since G is regular, of course, all of its vertices have the same degree. So we could write that like this. There exists some integer K such that for every vertex, every vertex of our graph G, so for every vertex, it's an element of the vertex set of G, the degree, of those vertices is equal to this number k. So again, since g is regular, there's some integer k such that every vertex in g has the degree k. Now what do we know about k? Do we know anything at all about k? Yes, in fact we do. Since g is not Eulerian, k cannot be even. Thus, k is odd. So every vertex in our graph g has this odd degree k. So we can say that k is equal to 2j1 plus 1 for some integer j1. And again, that's because g is not Eulerian. So if all of its vertices did have an even degree, since it's also connected, it would be Eulerian, which is a contradiction, which again uses the theorem I mentioned at the beginning of the lesson. So we can use that theorem to conclude that every vertex of a regular non-Eulerian graph must have an odd degree. Now we'll show that every vertex of the complement of G, assuming it's connected, every vertex has an even degree, and thus G complement is Eulerian. So we're going to assume that the complement of our graph G, G complement, is connected. Now all we really have to do is answer the question, what is the degree of each vertex of G complement? Well, by definition of the complement of a graph, every vertex in G complement will be adjacent to every vertex it wasn't adjacent to in the original graph G. And I'll leave a link in the description to my lesson on complement graphs if you need a recap on those. To describe the degree of each vertex in G complement, let's give a name to the number of vertices in G. We'll say the number of vertices in G, the cardinality of the vertex set of G, is equal to n. This, of course, is also the number of vertices in G complement. The complement of a graph, put simply, just has has the opposite edge set, but the same vertex set. Do we know any more specifics about n, the number of vertices in G? Think back to the first theorem of graph theory. There's a corollary of the first theorem that tells us every graph has an even number of odd vertices. Now remember, G is a regular graph, and we said all of its vertices have to have an odd degree, since it's not Eulerian. Thus, in total, the graph G has an even number of vertices. Because again, all of its vertices have an odd degree, and every graph must have an even number of odd degree vertices. So G has an even number of vertices. So we can say that the number of vertices in G is equal to n, is equal to 2j2 for some integer j2. And I'm pretty sure I've proven that corollary of the first theorem of graph theory, so I'll leave a link in the description to that lesson. Now we've got all we need to make an observation about the degree of every vertex in G complement. So we will write for every vertex v that's an element of the vertex set of G complement, what is the degree of that vertex equal to? In the subscript of the degree, we will put G complement. Just to make sure we're clear that we're talking about the degree of V in G complement. So what is this number? Take any vertex of G complement. It could be adjacent to any other vertex in the graph, conceivably, if we knew nothing else about the graph. 
right? So each vertex could possibly be adjacent to n minus 1 other vertices, all of the other vertices in the graph except for itself. However, to make this count correct, because this right now is not a true statement, we know precisely how many vertices of the graph each vertex is not adjacent to. Remember, in the original graph G, each vertex was adjacent to K vertices. By definition of a complement graph, each vertex in the complement cannot be adjacent to its K neighbors in G. So if we subtract K from this count, this gives us the number of vertices that each vertex was not adjacent to, not counting itself, in the original graph G, which is, by definition of graph complement, the degree of each vertex in the complement of G. Now, as you can probably see, all we need to do is some substitution here to show that this degree is even for every vertex. In place of n, we can substitute 2J2. So we'll write this is equal to 2J2 minus 1, and then minus k. And in place of k, we can put 2j1 plus 1. So we'll write that there, 2j1 plus 1. And then this is equal to 2j2 minus 1. Distribute this negative, so we have minus 2j1 minus 1. Let me go ahead and move these equalities down here. And I'm going to rewrite that sort of curvy subtraction sign. It wasn't supposed to be so curvy. Then it's pretty much a wrap from here. We can rewrite this as 2j2 minus 2j1 minus 2, combining the two negative 1 terms. And then we just factor out a 2. This is equal to 2 multiplied by j2 minus j1 minus 1. Thus, we've shown that every vertex in G complement has an even degree. Thus, since one of our original assumptions was that G complement is connected, and again we just showed that every vertex of G complement has an even degree, we have our desired conclusion. G complement must be Eulerian. And that, my friends, is the proof. So one more time, we will state the result that we just proved. If G is a connected regular graph that is not Eulerian, and the complement of G is connected, then the complement of G is Eulerian. And all it really comes down to is making an argument about the even or oddness of the degrees of the vertices in G and G complement. So I hope this video helped you understand how to prove this fun little graph theory result. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions, need anything clarified, or have any other video requests. Thank you very much for watching, I'll see you next time, and be sure to subscribe for the swankiest Please math lessons on the internet. Help me to remember all these things I keep forgetting I can try to not be stupid I would lie to say I promise anything Let me go easy, it's